Hi, this is Chini. It is February 12th, and I would like to talk to everyone about, um, we're in the middle of the Arctic blast, which is minus 13 Celsius here. That is 9 Fahrenheit, and it's been the cold last few days. And I would also like to um, talk about the movie Mount St. Helens. Um, May 18th, 1980, when the had the eruption. I've watched that movie so many times. I think they could have prevented 59 people from dying if they put dynamite on one side of the bulge of the mountain to release the pressure. That's my opinion. I don't judge anybody, but hopefully in the future, nothing like that happens again, because I would uh, be very excited once in this virus disappears and goes away for good. I would love to travel down to go and see where Mount St. Helens is and walk around the area and take pictures and maybe even if allowed to spend a weekend there uh, day and night get some sounds and audio and see if you can still hear the chainsaws going or the people talking, the spirits talking out there of David Jackson and Harry and the other people that passed away up there from the eruption of the volcano. That's what my big interest is. I don't know nothing about volcanoes besides what I see on TV and the movies I watch. I would love to learn more about them but I don't have the education or the money for that specific project but my extreme future goals is to go see Mount St. Helens uh, spend maybe a weekend or two over that way to take a look at it and not be in the airplane, uh, be walk around the area where I can and take pictures and audio and everything. I've Googled Earth, the area, and it's interesting, but it won't be the same unless you see it in person, like my dream is to. And because I live in Canada, it's difficult for me because, one, I don't drive. Um, I'll have to look into getting a passport and stuff like that, and which I can do down the road. But this is the next five, ten year down the road futures to go see Mount St. Helens. And um, also to go traveling around B.C., um, where I grew up is around a town named Headley, B.C. Uh, you probably all know the, the music singers, uh, group called Headley. They grew up in the area and lived there. I don't know if they still do, but I grew up in that area and it's a beautiful place and they have a mine over the top of the mountain where you can see from town, you can see part of the mine up above you, a town. And it's called Nickel Plate Mine. And it's beautiful in the summer, spring and summer. And I haven't been there since my family moved to Logan Lake. So that's about 1989, 90. 
I haven't been there, but I googled Earth it also. And I've read um, about a restaurant that got burnt down. Um, not sure when, but it's a nice little town. Um, used to go to the school there across from the, the city um, town hall, I guess it's called. And um, I would like to go there again, also travel and see some family friends over there. And uh, work my way back to Logan Lake, where I also used to live and graduated May 31st, 1997. See how that is over there. I do love Google Earth to check out different areas where I lived and check, see the differences and stuff. And the neat thing is, um, because of this virus, um, I get asked, do you travel out of the country? I go just by Google Earth because I don't have a driver's license and I don't fly on the plane or go on trains and that. I use Google Earth and make them smile and cheer them up. But um, I would love to travel. I miss traveling. I used to go with my dad and mom and my sister over to Tulumine and spend a weekend there. It was pretty neat. Beautiful crystal clear river good fishing and hiking area and um, I wish I could do that all again but it's not easy when you don't drive and my goal is to try and um, I have to charge up both my my big camera and small camera and Hopefully, when this cold weather leaves, um, I can go out and take pictures again of the deer and birds and wildlife around town and, and travel on buses to see different stuff around. Maybe even um, um, get a few good pictures of trees or ducks, groundhogs. They got lots of groundhogs. Um, I call them groundhogs, but I guess they're gophers. Not very far from here, probably about um, three or four blocks away from where I live. Um, go and um, take pictures of them and the ducks. Um, and different stuff and see how that goes um, but right now I haven't left the house since this cold arctic air has come through because um, it affects my body with having gout and pinched nerves in both of my feet so it's difficult and feeling the coldness in my right knee but I've been doing pretty good so far um, I just put my jacket on because I had to open my window because my room gets extremely hot. And the heater is just right behind me. Sorry, right back here is the heater around my bed. So it gets nice and toasty warm. No complaints on that. But um, once I start to breeze breaks through and get back to warming up again. I go out and venture around outside. I was talking to one of my roommates about going um, deer antler, uh, see if we could find any deer antlers and take pictures of them and I'm not sure what we'll do with them, but uh, hopefully I can, um, we could find something in that. And in April this year, my goal is to get a fishing license. 
and some fishing gear, which I can attach to my walker, and then uh, go fishing and hopefully bring some yummy fish home if I can get spots where I can go and not too far from bus stops too. And also, the lights are blinking around here because of the coldness in the air. Hopefully we don't have a power outage. But yeah, um, my crazy hairdo, sorry about that. Um, I'm thinking of changing my hair color to deep purple. Not sure when I'll do that though, but if you guys notice it, um, purple and green is my favorite color. I'm not going to put green in my hair, don't worry. If I do, I'll make sure it's washable and get my hair, um, hopefully back under control again, I'm trying to grow my hair out long. Hopefully I can get down to here. My goal is to get down to here to, um, be able to put my hair up in ponytails and, and make it look nice. And I don't know what everybody's going to be doing on Valentine's Day. I'm going to see about making some really nice uh, cards for my roommates to hand out to them. And make some, draw some really unique, draw some pictures. And... Hopefully make more bird feeders. I won't show you them because they don't look, to me, they don't look that good. But my roommate, when my roommate said it's unique because it always ends up tilting this way more than staying up straight. So, but I'm trying. Um, and hopefully... I can get this video out and hope um, everybody has a good night and don't get too cold and have a very good Valentine's Day and hopefully I'll have this video out by then and make a new one. Okay, be safe everyone and take care and have a good day. Bye.